even Nawal's screams have become muted. The Yemeni toddler hasn't had enough to eat for most of her life. Nawal is now 24 months old. She is suffering from acute malnourishment. As a result of war, it's very difficult to get the required food supplements. We're doing all we can to save her life. Her condition has become acute and will probably become another statistic without proper treatment. Yemenis say they're tired of burying their children. Doctors say they're helpless to cope with a rare form of malnutrition. The child is suffering from acute malnourishment, which is normally found in skin and bone or kwashiorkor. Nawal's case is a combination of the two types, which is very rare. It started with skin bone, then developed into kwashiorkor in both her feet about two weeks ago. Nawal is not the only victim. The UN's children agency says 135,000 children remain in the besieged port city of Hodeida, where they face the highest level of malnutrition and cholera in Yemen. UNICEF says their living conditions are so dire, no one should ever suffer them. The fight between the Saudi Emirati-led coalition and Houthis has destroyed Yemen's healthcare system. The siege and bombardment of the port city of Hodeida has wrecked hospitals, ambulances, even medical stores. Doctors say they're missing 90% of medical supplies and equipment. The coalition specifically targeted the health sector and intentionally aimed at destroying all its facilities. More than 50% of all the medical facilities have been totally or partially destroyed, including the main hospitals and maternal clinics. Half of the ambulance fleet has been destroyed too. The province is facing a catastrophic humanitarian situation. It is beyond words. The siege of the port over the past four years caused malnourishment among more than 300,000 children below the age of five in Hodeida alone. It may be too late for thousands of starving children, but Nawal has a few days of hope left. That's only if those in power care and help arrives in time. Osama bin Javed, Al Jazeera.